hi beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is favor and i'm a lifestyle content creator living in winnipeg manitoba if this is your first time here you're definitely on the right channel please consider clicking the subscribe button so you can join the fam and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming here when i post new videos so in a previous video i showed you how i make moi moi with lentils and a few people asked me if i can make akara with lentils and of course i tried it out and i have decided to bring the recipe to you today so if you want to know how i make my akara with lentils definitely keep on watching so for this recipe you don't need a lot of things of course you need your lentils you need some onion scotch bonnet pepper red bell pepper you need salt ground pepper i have extra ground pepper just because i like heating my food and then i have seasoning cubes and finally crayfish so in here i have three cups of lentils and i'm just going to add some water and leave it for 30 minutes so while i was waiting for the lentils i went ahead to chop my onion and bell pepper off camera this is what we're going to be working with and this is what it looks like after 30 minutes when you add water to the lentils it would usually rise so you just want to be mindful of how much you'll be using so i'm just going to pour out the water and we'll be ready to start blending so i just poured the lentils into a sieve because i want to be able to control how much water i'm adding when you're making akara you need to be mindful of how much water you're adding or else when you're frying it's going to fall apart so i would add just a little water as we blend i'm not measuring this i'm just using this to scoop the lentils into the blender and yeah I prefer to start small so I would add a little water and then if it needs more water as it's blending then I will add some more. It looks like it's struggling so I'm just going to give it a little stir there and we'll see how it's doing. I'm just going to add a little more water. So it's done now and that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to pour it into the bowl I have there. So I just have a little water in there and I'm just going to start blending again. Just keep repeating the whole process until you're done blending everything that you have. So this is what I have and um, yeah. So we're done blending now and I'm just going to go ahead to mix it. So this is the consistency that you want. You want to make it as fluffy as you can make it. If you have a hand mixer or a standard cake mixer, you can use that to do the mix and it will save you lots of time and it's also easier. So yeah, try that out if you have any of those. You can also use a mortar and pestle. I've heard that those work. I haven't tried those out, but I've heard that it works. And yeah, so you can try that out if you want to. If you don't have any of the items I just mentioned, definitely use your hands and you'll be fine so next i'm just going to add my spices i have two seasoning cubes here and that's what i'm going to be adding so i have some salt here and i'm just going to add that so i have one teaspoon of salt 
I'm gonna add half a spoon extra. Next, I'll be adding my ground pepper. So I'm just gonna add two teaspoons. And my seasoning cube that I crushed. And I'm just gonna give it a very good stir. And finally, I'm gonna add my crayfish. So right now I'm just going to start frying. There's actually a trick when it comes to heating up your oil. So you want to heat up the oil till it's very hot and then let it cool down a bit before you start frying because if you don't do that, the outside will be you know, golden brown and you think it's done. Meanwhile, the inside didn't get enough time to cook. So right now it's done and we can start taking it out. So this is what we have so far. This is the first batch. You want to repeat the process until you're done frying everything that you blended and that's pretty much it. So this is what I got from 3 cups of lentils and that's why I said you need to be mindful of how much lentils you're using just because it tends to rise a lot after you soak it. So guys that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching up until this point. Please try this recipe out and let me know what you think about it. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you still haven't subscribed please 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 don't forget to do so and I'll see you in my next video but until then stay safe and stay blessed.